do you believe in colorism and do you feel like it's easier as a, a female rapper to like make it big when you're like of a lighter complexion believe in colorism colorism is very real it's yeah. a very real thing Welcome back to my channel, Mother Suckers. Hey, I hope y'all are having a wonderful new year thus far. One thing we need to leave in 2022 are ignorant conversations and questions like this. So if you haven't seen it, Megan James interviewed Houston based rapper, singer, songwriter, mental health advocate, Mona Leo. But before I go in, I just gotta give Leo her flowers with the way she handled the questions in this interview. Very mature, very wise, giving facts and evidence. And she didn't double down or coddle Megan when she got hit with that reverse card, with that reverse colorism card. I just wanna give her her flowers, show her some love. And for those of you like myself who are not too familiar with her, she has some viral hits underneath her belt. She started rapping in 2020. All of her songs are hits she's 21 so she raps for a different generation but i really like suck it up so boom megan asked leo a crazy question it's 2023 right so she asked her do you believe in colorism and do you feel like colorism gives lighter skinned rappers the privilege don't have leo said believe like believe what do you mean believe it's it's not santa claus it's not some mystical uh idea like it, it's real and we've been having these conversations so to ask this question post all the work that dark skin women specifically has done to shed light on this issue um, and how it affects darker skin people literally all over the world the getcha gotcha was not only did she ask do you believe in colorism she then says well i've experienced colorism too and she says, well, it's reverse colorism then. And and light-skinned women experience it, maybe not as much as darker-skinned women, but we experience reverse colorism. Because I wasn't black enough. Bitches used to try to cut my hair. Like, people be thinking that, like, light-skinned girls don't go through colorism. We go through colorism just... I don't know if it's, like, as bad as, like, well, it's not like, girls. Well, who... It's not colorism. It's not colorism. If you're light-skinned, it's not. Colorism. So what is it like, called? If people were pick, if people was picking with you, then that's like, but it's not colorism. Like colorism well, is discrimination white? against darker skin, is complected, it? like darker complected so people. So you, you're basically talking about reverse. Well, colorism. reverse colorism then, because they used to be like, you ain't even black for real. You're white. Go over there with the white girls. And I'm just like, bitch. And this is why if a light-skinned woman ever asks me about colorism, I actually turn the question right back on them because nine times out of 10, they don't want to hear you. They don't really want to hear you, you know, that they experience more privilege because of their complexion. They don't want to hear that. They actually want you to hear what they've been through and how they actually experience exactly what you experience. And I don't have time really to, to do the back and forth. You know, dark skinned women don't owe y'all time, attention and energy that y'all so much seek when we have these conversations. So if someone asks me, I ask them, do you think colorism is real? definitely easier for a woman with a lighter complexion to flow up quicker than a dark skinned woman for sure but like why do you feel like that because like i begin into a people right i used to get made up fun of at school because i wasn't black enough so leo answers the question she says yes it is easier for lighter skinned rappers and megan says but why because i used to get made fun of in school that is the most nonsensical. We are talking about female rappers. Megan, you are not a female rapper and how you got made fun of in school has nothing to do with how dark skinned female rappers who are more talented don't get the platforms that light skinned female rappers who could be as equal or lesser talented get. It's literally giving center me it's literally given coddle me it's literally given well what about me it's also given praise me talk about how i'm pretty talk about my privilege talk about how you see me or how people or society sees me in a better light it's given praise me i don't like that and when i talk to other women and men about you know who was called white in school they usually attribute it whiteness more to behaviors versus skin tone because you have light-skinned girls who 
quote unquote acted black, which really meant, you know, she was urban, she was hood. And so if you quote unquote acted suburban or like a valley girl, right, that would be something that kids attributed to whiteness. So I could be reaching, but that alone mixed with Meg's personality, I can see why a lot of the black girls were like, nah. Oh, you're pretty to be a dark skin. Yeah, yeah. but we also get, oh, you're pretty to be a black. Like I've had white people mm -hmm. and others. Well, that's racism. Yeah, that's, that's racism. racism. Right. But like, they'd be like, you're pretty to be a black. I've had black girls be like, you're pretty, like, you're pretty. Are you mixed? Like that, are you mixed? Do you mm -hmm. have to be mixed? Right. I that's thought you were mixed. Sad. That's you sad. mixed. Why gotta be mixed? Right. It's very annoying having this conversation with someone who wants to be coddled, centered, and praised. If you hear everything that she's saying, it is praised. Oh, you're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty. Why are we centering you? <laughs> but words mean things, and as an interviewer, it's important to know what the words you're using and what you're describing. It's important to know what that means. I'm glad that Leo told her, like, yeah, that's racism. And then she says, well, black women say, you know, you're pretty, are you mixed? Yeah, because they have also been influenced by colorism, that darker skinned women are not as attractive. She's literally proving the very point. I honestly want to leave this type of conversation centered around colorism. I really want to leave it in 2022. If you don't know, you have to do the work. Stop expecting dark-skinned black women to come and, and coddle y'all and save y'all and educate y'all when all of this information is free and available for you to learn. Stop asking us questions that you really don't want the true answer to. Stop invalidating our experiences by saying you experienced it too when you didn't. As far as do lighter skin rappers have uh, have it easier, just look at the top rappers. Like, what do they all have in common? They're either mixed or light skinned black women. You, an you can answer your own questions just by honestly, just open Instagram, <laughs> like open your apps, ask, ask Siri some questions. Stop asking us because y'all know the answer. You just don't want to accept it. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. How did you feel about this whole do you believe in colorism, reverse colorism conversation? Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experiences as well. Um, as Beyonce said, there is complexities in complexion. So as black people, we know that different women who have different complexions, different shapes, different sizes, right? We all have complexities and what we experience because of how we look. So it's important not to invalidate each other. But when we speak specifically on colorism, do know that it is discrimination against darker skinned women within the same race. So love, peace, and hair grease, okay? Um, it was good to be back on here talking with you guys. I have some surprises coming in the new year. Once again, let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe, share this video. We gotta up these numbers. Something, the math ain't mathing. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed, tune in, and I'll see you later. You just, you notice a pattern. That's what I will say. You notice a pattern. Like, there could be an influx of light skin rappers, and they wouldn't necessarily have to be as talented lyrically or put as much effort in